Hello, my fellow misfortunates, and welcome to another episode of Unranked to Diamond. And today I'm actually playing Misfortune again. I want to feature Misfortune um, on a regular basis on this channel, obviously, because most of you probably watch because of Misfortune, but I might be mistaken. Let me know what you think, um, which AD carries interest you the most. Should I play meta AD carries? Should I just um, play more Misfortune? Uh, I wonder. I actually want to play a lot of champions in this series because I don't want it to be too easy to go uh, to yeah to go up to diamond. Um, but I also I well my top priority with this channel is actually uh, playing the stuff that you want to see. So leave a comment. I might or might not listen to it. <laughs> I'm a Q now. Good damage. The massive damage. Oof. I love Emax Misfortune. Yeah, I'm playing full Lethality Emax today. Uh, this is the best Lethality build you can play. If you want to play Lethality Misfortune, look no further. I uh, hope he gets this kind of minion. Yeah, okay. Yeah, e is a very broken spell. It's only balanced due to mana cost, but with mana flow band plus biscuits. Uh oh. I'll pop my first biscuit here for the mana. Try to farm with auto attacks as much as possible. So I don't boom too quickly. Why does he want a base? The bot lane Dubu who bases first gets a disadvantage. That's a law <laughs> in League. Because we lose an additional wave of minions for no reason. Yeah, Caitlyn, the AD carry with the longest range, cannot trade back against this East Emax strategy. With Arcane Comet. Ah, we missed some CS along the line, though. Get in range in time. My ears on cooldown. Damn, I got minion blocked. Hate it when that happens. Yeah, health is your most important resource in lane. And we have such a big health advantage that we can pretty much do whatever we want at this point. Just need to save a little bit of mana here. I get my mana flow banned with my next E and also the uh, new biscuit will come in half a minute. Messed up a little bit right there. Right, got a new biscuit. I pop it instantly because the lower mana you have, the more mana it regenerates. It's a percentage, right? Percentage of missing mana. Bring gas bot side. Caitlyn, no potion. Unnecessary queue. 
Yeah, if you don't base early with this, you need to manage your mana a little bit carefully. Damn. Free infernal for them, huh? Okay, Thresh is roaming, but they don't know it necessarily. At least they don't play like I'm alone. Okay, he's back. As soon as you get lethality, your combat starts uh, hurting way more because it's adaptive damage, so it's physical damage with misfortune, and that means it gets amplified by lethality. Huge damage. Nice. Got Caitlyn's flash. That's a bait. I'm above 180 mana, so I can ER. Okay, Thresh uh, <laughs> stepped into a trap there, which sucks, but oh well. It was still alright. You could have punished Rakan for cancelling me, but it's still okay. I'd really like to just recall, to be honest. Yeah, we hold lane priority, but we don't have any opportunity to kill them. However, I do get a CS lead with this, as Caitlyn is forced to farm on the tower. Hundred fifty gold to dust blade. Maybe I just stay. mana for one more E. Alright, a fast push now and get my dust blade. Okay, so they based first, which means we get an advantage here. And I will agree for a plating. <laughs> nah. Stupid! I should just base! Why do I greet? I, I can buy nothing with a plating, and I don't even get it in time. I'm oom. No, no, no. Greeting is bad. Don't forget that. Yeah, so you go dust bait first because it's the most attack damage and the most lethality. You see, it costs the same compared to Ghost Blade, but uh, you get 60 and 21. And here you get 55 and 18 attack damage and lethality, respectively. I also got my ulti back, we can definitely make a play. I'm so far ahead of Caitlyn, 22 CS. Again, I don't need to necessarily kill her to get an advantage. It would be nice, but it's not necessary. Oh, misclick. Okay. 
and thresh suicides. They get Drake here, but it's alright, nothing we can do about it. Nice, good job. I don't really like being bait, but if it's what I need to do. It's risky for me. Mm. Push one more wave in base. Seems like a good call. You sit on your magical boots in this uh, with this build. You don't upgrade them, there's no need to. It's way more efficient to just rush more lethality. Alright. Gatling got Stormraiser now. Need to respect her a little bit more due to that. This Orn is going to get quite tanky, but with um, the M deal power spike, which is Dust Bait, Ghost Bait, and Lord Dorms, we can still do a lot to him. Damn. Alright, time to recall again. <laughs> we can't do much here. <sighs> Maybe with Talon, too. This one? Teleport. Damn. Come on, don't tell me they get away with this. Okay, so Cassidy probably lives, huh? Nice, good job. This is a typical jungler who never played lane. Instead of taking this wave, which was six minions, he just goes to this Gromp thing, which doesn't make any sense. The six minions are free experience in gold, and then he can take Gromp after. Sequencing matters. My ulti in five seconds. I also want to make a play with it. Okay. He really flashed for that. Wow, that was very eager of them. They get mid tower with heralds. I always love it when they 
overextend in the jungle and then you just ult them in a choke point. <laughs> so satisfying. I uh, need more gold, right? Yeah, 250. For my next item. Take this tower now. Or can we? I need to base. Yeah, we need to let this tower fall now. Or do we? They're not pressuring it, okay. Take another wave then. And now I'll go back at my Ghost Blade. And after I get my Lord Doms, this Orn cannot tank anything I do anymore. It's such a brutal combo. The thing is, um, <clears throat> lethality items are all inherently cost inefficient. Um, but this is because of how armor works. If they were cost efficient, they, were, they would be too OP. Because the closer you bring the enemy to base armor, the more um, exponentially more damage you do, right? So because armor, it's, armor has diminishing returns, which means um, it scales rather multiplicatively. But that means lethality scales exponentially. It's, it, I, I could math this out, right? But um, it's really hard to do while playing a game. But yeah, all in all, if you have Ghostblade and Dustblade and then get a Last Whisper item, which also penetrates base armor, I remind you, um, you, you're guaranteed to be useful, because no matter what they build, squishies die instantly, and even tanky targets, they, um, well, obviously if you stack armor, then it's your best bet, but even against tanky targets, you do so much damage, they cannot ignore you. Job team. That was one E. Yeah, Cassidy might be coming from me. Seems plausible at least. What would I do if I were Cassidy and her? Huh? Right, Talon is coming. He lives. Crazy. They are overextended. We don't see anybody through Tribush. Orn is coming. They're probably all coming, to be honest. Oof. And now I can get my last Whisper item. Yeah, with these two items I'm not doing too much damage to Orn, especially because he's exclusively buying armor, but um, yeah, the last Whisper component. Uh, the way the game calculates, they first, or the game first uh, subtracts the percent armor penetration and then the lethality, so they actually amplify each other. Because bringing the enemy, oh, I'm, I am really want to just do the math with you, but at the same time, I want to, I, I need to play this game. Maybe in the comments we can do some math if you want to. Oh, 
Good job, Talon. Put my ulti back. Yeah, let me join that. Oh, it just escapes, right? <clears throat> now we got nobody defending mid. Yeah, I should not have rotated. That was a blunder. Lost mid tower for no reason here. I guess we can take it, right? It has smite, okay. That looked painful. I don't have ulti. We should probably just reset. so bad for him it's uh, I I could physically feel that how he yeah maybe because of misfortune maybe that's why I'm faster bro <laughs> he doesn't even understand I've ghost played I have uh, this wind tunnel here. Uh, I think I should put a control word in Baron. Yeah, take the red buff. Next item is definitely the lethality um, lifesteal item. Or is it? Maybe I just take the other one with the cooldown reduction, the Umber Glaive. Hmm, not sure yet. I hope they don't come. If they do, um, <laughs> I'm in a very bad spot being caught between Baron and their team. We should be fine though. Yeah. Right, let's buff them up. Rengar's behind me. Oof, I'm running. I'm definitely running. I saw him. If he also die. Good 
See? The orange just drops. <laughs> the MDL power spike. You cannot face tank that. Not at 25 minutes. As long as Kassadin is dead, we're pretty much free to do what we want, right? Yeah, I guess we recall here. True, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, go for this one next. Again, lethality stacks exponentially. The more you get... It doesn't show on the lethality stat. The stat obviously stacks additively. But the effect is exponential because armor stacks multiplicatively. It's very confusing to explain. But I hope you get what I mean. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, it was a matter of who one-shots whom first. And I got the short end of the stick. Maybe I just upgrade to Ninja Tabby, so that doesn't happen again. <coughs> At the same time, would Ninja Tabby really help in that situation? Maybe it would. Nice, yeah, this owner got no magic resist. Yo, well, I'm dead. Quick shoutouts to the Misfortune, the best t shirt that I'm wearing. I love it. I hope you could see it on the camera there. I'm not sure. Maybe like, like this, right? Should be able to see it. And shoutouts to all of you who got one yourselves. You're the real MVP. Renga took me completely took me out of this fight, so in this final stage of the game I'm not even able I'm not even allowed to do something. I wanna ult. Yeah. Just Renga being Renga, huh? But they're doing this completely neglecting their base. It's not how you win a game. It's how you, it's how you, it's it's how you're being a pain <laughs> for the enemy AD carry. But it's not how you prevent yourself from losing. Yeah, I definitely need this. At last, item guardian angel. Should the game go longer, which is unlikely, but um, just so you know, because this Rengar is a huge problem. It's the only player who can still kill me. As I'm definitely not outrunning a Rengar ultimate. Yeah, look at that 2700 damage. This Rengar is super fat and he, he did not even do half of my damage with his keystone. Level 16, accomplished. Fiddle is dead, we should not go Baron or do Baron. That one auto probably did like 50% to him. I just click attack move, yeah. So I attack him instantly when he shows himself.
Yeah, we're doing fine. If you want to see more games with this amazing misfortune build, then all you need to do is click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.